hey, check this out. Now that we have the uh, survey points in our drawing, let's go ahead and <coughs> excuse me, make a surface out of these points and some uh, contour data. I just put some uh, 2D polylines and gave, it an, gave them an elevation over here on the side, and I'll show you how to insert some, some contour data or some, some break line data. So for the first part, let's go ahead and um, generate a surface from uh, this uh, point data. So if I go over to my home ribbon, and my tool space, my tool space is open, go to my prospector tab and go to the surface uh, right here to surface. If you right click you'll see create surface and this dialog shows up and we give it a name. Let's just give it a name of uh, existing or some people say uh, I would do EG existing ground and you can give it a description or uh, and then the other thing is that you want to style the surface what how do you want it to look well it is a, um, a background uh, surface or, or an existing surface not a design surface so um, I'm going to use this predefined uh, style of one and five foot uh, background uh, say okay and uh, we're good to go. I'm going to make a tin surface out of this. There, there's uh, four options. You can make a tin surface, a grid surface, a grid volume, or a tin volume. So let's go ahead and make a tin. Say OK. And uh, go back to our tool space. And you'll see now under surface surfaces, there's an EG that we created. So here's the EG. If we expand that, we want to go all the way to definitions. And there's a bunch of information that you can add to a surface to um, to hone it, create it. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a point group. Now remember, um, th I have a, another video called uh, Inserting Points uh, into uh, Civil 3D and uh, we went ahead and created some natural ground uh, po a, a natural ground uh, point group. So I'm going to go ahead and come down to the EG surface and under definitions add a point group. So if I right click on point groups and add, I can pick right from the list the uh, natural ground point group, say OK, and it will automatically generate a surface from uh, from that uh, uh, that information. Now to show you I guess the, the triangles, um, you can uh, right click on the, the surface name and um, change the properties to a um, contours and triangles. Uh, there's there's ways to get in and, and modify that uh, that style, um, but I won't get into it now. Say OK, and that shows triangles and contours. So you see some contour data going through there. But for the most part, there's all your triangles. Now, let's say we wanted to add some break line information. Now, all these polylines are at different elevations. Um, one thing that I do want to show you is that this is a surface and if I were to uh, grip that surface um, and do a right click I could do an object viewer and simply pan around and start seeing this uh, this not very uh, there's not much relief on there um, but you will see when we add this uh, this contour data over here that uh, it will show that four to one slope going up in that direction. So um, let's close this and I'm going to insert some contour data and again go back to my tool space uh, and uh, under surfaces uh, existing ground surface I'm going to add break lines. So if I just go to break lines uh, do a right click and add I can pick uh, just give it a name and I'm just uh, sometimes you call it like uh, top of bank or um, something like that and uh, call it a standard. They have uh, proximity which means that it's a line that's that's going to tick, pick up the uh, the points that are closest to that line like uh, um, other points that are within your surface but I'm just going to pick a standard and uh, say OK and then it gives you the uh, the ability to pick objects so I'm going to go through and I'm just going to pick these objects I'm going to say enter and it automatically adds that information as contour data. Pretty cool. So now if I grip that surface, do a right click and uh, object, put it under the object viewer, 
you'll be able to see a see if I can get this spun around so you can see what's going on a four to one slope coming up that I had created just with those contours and uh, so that is how you create a a surface uh, utilizing point data and or uh, break line or contour data uh, you can also use feature lines. Feature lines uh, are almost uh, uh, as powerful or more powerful than uh, 3D polylines in my opinion. Um, and they, they give you uh, the ability to do some uh, offsets by grade and uh, slope, different things like that. So we'll, we may get into that um, just to show you how that works. But um, the next thing we're going to get into is creating a pipe network. Um, We'll probably start with the library and then uh, get into physically building some, some sanitary structures across this existing surface. Until then, uh, subscribe, rate, and uh, I'll see you later.